I'm so tapped up, and this is the lion song. I will already say that I'm probably not going to do this game total justice. I'm going to do a quick look here. Um, I'm trying to kind of get through a bunch of stuff I meant to check out. And this game, the I really like the aesthetics of this. Um, episode 1 is actually free on Steam. And um, you pay for the other episodes. It's kind of a... It is episodic. So um, let's just get started with this one. Oh, train station. Really dig that uh, low color count, pixel art kind of look. Do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard! Oh, I love the little faces. Do you see the little... I love the... I love this kind of... Um, you know, I love the little... It's kind of like an old point and click. Um, the mouth flap animations. I kind of like that. Such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard! Last call for Vienna. Mama, let the boy go. He'll get in trouble if he's late. My dear boy, take care. Take care. There he be. Yes, Mom and Papa, you take care too. I just I just love this old... This, this like, high-res pixel art aesthetic, particularly. Kind of that DOS-era... Um, Point and click look to it, like like this hand. This hand is right out of DOS. Point and click. I'm, uh, I'm sure that was uh, an inspiration. You don't you don't see a ton. You do see some of this, but uh, a lot of stuff goes for the like, eight bit platformer look. It's like, <sighs> you don't see as much of this. I, I really appreciate this kind of stuff. Vienna. I was just talking about this in an earlier video. It's like, uh, don't don't make fun of people that like can't pronounce a word the very first time they read it, because like. You know, it's kind of rude. It's like, you do this to me. How am I supposed to read that? Muski Kakadami. Something. Oh, it is point and click. Arthur's desk. His desk? How much music has he written there? Me! Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am, waiting. Maybe, at last, you want to talk about us? I like these the point and clicks where your character is a little bit introspective and like, Hopefully a little bit snarky. You gotta have a point and click. Somebody's gotta be snarky in a point and click. Either the narrator or the character. But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. You keep hoping it'll happen. But it never will. Aw. Got a love interest going on. I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Why'd you want to see me, Professor? Please, call me Arthur. Why are you sitting on the desk? Like a, like a young person. Why'd you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest, yes. Wilma, your performance at the salon, it was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Oh yes, they seem to enjoy the music. <laughs> Let's just be on to play it. Let's be humble. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the momentum. How's the new composition coming along? I'm progressing. Your music is so new. It entices, it challenges. I think, no, I know we're about to achieve something great here. I'm so glad I gave this guy this voice, it's perfect. The future of music. Arthur, I'm, we must build on the success of your performances. If we stop now, we'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving, keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I'm, that is, what is it? I've started composing it, but, but, oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. Stupid OBS, it's doing, ugh, never mind what it's doing. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. Oh, I love text effects like that. I can't bear to let you down. I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone clamoring for your attention. Sitting on your desk, insisting that you need to write more, recognizing you on the street, and even more pressure from me. Well, he, he understands. Uh, Vienna is a city. You can't change that. You need to change. That's clear. Listen, I have a cabin in the mountains. Oh my, Arthur. We will be able to work there. Or you will be able to work there. Would you... Come with me? Aye. That would hardly help your reputation. True. You need time alone. The quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of things here. Arthur, I can't. I'm not asking. 
It's settled. The carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. We're going into self-quarantine. <laughs> I gotta stop referencing that. I feel like my videos from this time period will be horribly dated by that good old virus. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You'll have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I think this is for the best. You'll be completely alone. No distractions. Ah, uh, Walden. I mean, somewhere in the Alps. Oh, look at those thunderclouds. Oh, I love... I, I just love... It's just big, scenic, pixel stuff. This, um... How you call it when it's like it's a whole scene. It's not like you know how a platformer everything is, you know, it looks like a platformer, you know. The world is kind of designed, it looks so gamey. Um, not necessarily a bad thing, but I love just stuff like this where it's just it's just the world, you know? Dark clouds hang over the mountains, almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. Won't be long until the storm is here. I better hurry. Almost there. Just a bit further. Just a few more steps. A few. It me? I finally arrived. It's at Arthur's cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. And I mean, part of the reason stuff like this generally isn't done like this. Um, you know, you can't really reuse assets so much in this. It, 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 it's a lot of work. I'm not saying that necessarily, you know, it's definitely not easy, but I uh, really like it. Also, this the, the color palette really works here. Let's head to the cabin. It's like a storm's brewing. Might make it just before the rain. They can get power lines out here, but they can't get, you know, a road. Episode one, silence. I'm liking this. Like I said, I probably will do just, you know, just a quick look at this. I've, I'm trying to go through a bunch of stuff and just keep myself from, all right, you know, I'm going to sit here for two hours and do one game. No, I want to sit here for two hours and do, you know, a bunch of things. At least until I can get more, you know. I just want to be able to focus on stuff. You know, clear my backlog, clear my brain, all that kind of crap. Um, out of sight, out of mind really does help. I've been trying to, you know, clean up my house and stuff and, you know, keep that in mind. And just, you know, keep all those small little stressors out of the way. That, that peaceful rain, the little animation on the window. Walk up here was exhausting. I hope the rain doesn't stop. You, come on. Phew. All right, Wilma, it's time to unpack your bag. I would love to just be out in a in a forest in like a cabin with gentle rain on the windows like right now. Like, damn, hell yeah. That would be much more relaxing. <laughs> Telephone. My materials are still in my luggage. Poetry collection. Several poems in it. That's... Yeah. Yeah, there probably would be. Rilke, Hoffman style, and a few other authors. Let's see. Ah, here it is. The Panther. I'll read it later. Cabinet door. Locked. Interesting. Letter. Pile of letters addressed to Arthur. Should I read them? Congratulations! Welcome to bonus stage. Uh, my dear Professor Caban, I would like to congratulate you. I had the honor to visit a minor concert by a student, Wilma Durfu, in the salon recently. Many in the audience seemed bewildered at first, whom, excuse my expression, you'd have in tow. So many child prodigies, but this was different. This young proposer's music played. I couldn't quite believe my ears. The strength of her music became clear to all. At the same time, enlightened as did mine. My heartiest congratulations, you must be very proud. You have transformed this rough diamond to a brilliant gem. I'll be here to hear your next composition. Until then, be so kind as to send my regards to a young artist, your friend Gustav. I'll read some later. The paraffin lamp! The lamp casts a dim light. The flame dances quietly to and fro. It flares up briefly before subsiding. I don't really like fire, but uh, something about those old lamps is a little calming too. Dusty, but empty. Drawers locked. Lots of locked drawers. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music paper. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Ooh, a letter. 
What is it from? It says, open upon arrival. My dear Wilma, I hope you had a trouble-free journey. I'm sure you started writing already. Inspired by the beautiful surroundings. I like the use of a uh, text color to kind of indicate who it is. Of course, some people are colorblind, so I mean, it really should have a little who's who or who's talking thing. But However, I have a confession to make. Perhaps he's written something about us. Though yellow versus blue is a pretty good contrast for uh, the great majority of colorblind uh, variations. Um, yeah, fun fact. Um, instead of using red and green, extremely bad color combo for um, the most common kinds of colorblindness. Um, red and blue is um, a very good way to differentiate, you know, success and failure and other stuff. That's probably why it's one of the most common ways to differentiate teams and FPSs and stuff. You know, Halo, uh, Team Fortress 2, all that stuff. Anyway, before your departure, I started to organize a concert at the Musikverein in Vienna. I was able to convince a few illustrious colleagues to offer their works. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure the read-on prompt was necessary. I had to call in many favors, but Mr. Schonberg. Mr. Berg and Mr. Mailer have all agreed to participate. That's rare. Seeing just Berg, there's usually some variety of Berg. But you can just be Mr. Mountain if you want to. What a name, though. Mr. Mountain. Like, hell yeah. He better be swole. I'll be disappointed. It'll be a glorious evening. And your composition will be the centerpiece. The grand finale, sad face. Wilma, imagine it! I guess I'm probably Vilma, considering my last name. I understand this is all very abrupt. And for that, I apologize. But now is your time. The musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. A concert? One week? How is this less pressure? Oh, Arthur, what have you done? I was trying to eat a sandwich. I was trying to eat a goddamn sandwich. The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I'm trapped here. The storm outside in me. Silence. Eat, eat the sandwich. I've lost my appetite. No! Sandwich! Sandwich! Oh. Can I not have one moment's peace? Hello? Is, what's that? Is that Swedish? Excuse me? Oh, German. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish always gets me. Um, it's one of those languages. It's a little bit it's a little bit like German. It's just, you look at it and you feel like you're reading German, but having a stroke or like you've forgotten German, at least if you know, if you know German and not Swedish, at least, at least in my experience, I always look at it like, I know some of these words, but they're not used right. And what is this? And they're spelled wrong. And oh, oh this isn't German. <laughs> these aren't my glasses. I gotta say, I am getting engrossed in this. I, I might have to... I, maybe we will do more. I was planning to do a, a quick look. Um, I, I might just play it on my own. I, Like I said, I, I do... You know... The thing about recording, I think a lot of people don't really appreciate. You need to, ha you need to be in the right mood. Um, you need to have some time, of course. You need to not have interruptions. Um, your voice needs to be doing well. <laughs> which I've... Um, last couple of weeks, I've had a... I don't know what the hell it is. Maybe it is, you know, COVID-19. Um, of course, I haven't been around anybody to infect them, so. But it's been fairly mild, but it's just lingering, and it sucks, and I hate it. Uh, it's like one of those things where you're sick, but you feel guilty for still being sick, because it's like, it's not that bad. And you feel like you should be fine, but you're not. It's like, ugh, hate it. Anyway, yes. Um, who, who is this? I am well. My name is Leos. No, I'm not going to do the whole Swedish chef the whole time. You still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... You close by. Where are you? Who? Where are you calling from? I'm in southern Bohemia. And you, madame? In a cloud. Ha ha! I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you can speak over the long distances. To actually hear a voice? It's amazing! I guess the telephone was just invented. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole! Stomach rumble. What was that? Thunder. There's a storm here. It sounded a bit closer. 
I didn't hear anything. I hear that noise every day when my guests come here with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all Bohemia. I don't know how to do a Bohemian accent, so I guess he's Russian. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot. Oh, rich hearty sauce. Oh, now you're making me hungry, buddy. You cut into one and the steam comes out. Please stop. You're torturing me. Uh, in reality, they taste better than they sell. Stop that. Stop that. I wish I had some here right now. Of course you wish that. Oh, -ho -ho. I apologize. Sounds like you're very hungry. It's a pleasure talking with you, madame. Uh, huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. It's Vilma. Vilma? Too polite. Vilma, it was a pleasure to meet you. Too polite. <laughs> is this is this like a bad end thing? I'm, I'm suspicious because of point and click. They gave me a number. One, two, five, five. Maybe. I hope so. Uh, goodbye, Leos. Goodbye, Vilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. Well, now I'm hungry, at least. Ugh. That is not a sandwich eat sound. That is like wet meat noise sound. It may not be a dumpling, but it tastes delicious. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> you, you look tired. It was just too much for my first day. There we go. Take a sleep. Outside. Behind the buildings, the sun is rising. No, I said 15 minutes. We'll give this we'll give this a 20 minute mark. Said well, my summer stirs. You know, I'm not even What? Oh, it's a dream. You can tell because it's wavy. Hit me. The quiet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vilma? Are you awake? No. That's what I would say. It's late. How did we get here? How did I get here? Desmond the Moon Bear. I was just... I have to leave? Stay a little longer. I'm already forgetting this guy's voice. I really have to go. I expected the Institute? But it's your Institute. Yes. Yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. We really shouldn't. Is that what we are? Secret lovers? I never really... I, I could never really jive with, like, the older teacher and, like, the younger student thing. Like, in, in one thing, like... The very disproportionate power structure and relationship. Incredibly unhealthy. But also, like... Old teachers? Ew? Like, uh, you know, I liked some of my teachers, like, as people and all, um, but uh, especially the old professor kind of thing, to just, definitely not my aesthetic. What oh, could be so urgent? Today I'm getting Schoenberg's contribution. I have to be there. It'll be marvelous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. What are you doing? What exactly? Yes. Imagine where you could be in a year. I don't like this guy. Stop, you're hurting me. The future of music. No. Ow, Arthur, no. That's why you don't date your teacher. Day two. Is there a save system in this? It's just a dream. Just a dream. See, it does say this game auto saves, so I guess, I guess you just keep playing. Arthur, I was finally with you, but I wanna, no, I have to write this composition. How to start. Stress gives you weird dreams. Come on, Wilma. Concentrate. Vilma. Whatever. Anything could be an ins inspiration. Well... How long will the storm continue? Look, it's not thundering and storming. Go outside. I'm not allowed to do that. Tonal diversity! Arthur writes about, ph about a phenomenon he calls tonal diversity. By building certain relationships between the notes, the same note could sound quite different when heard again. Arthur's talking to her directly. He's writing so clear, some of the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. He pauses, not once, but many times. I, w I wasn't expecting to be so engrossed in this, honestly. I don't... Music... I mean, I like music, like, to hear it, but composition and study of music, I don't know. I don't know most of these things. It's one of the things I would like to learn more about, but, um... You know, as far as time goes, it's a very time-consuming kind of thing, and I just... Can't we do that right now? Vilma focuses on uh, the 
pleasurable surprise. I don't want to date Arthur. I'm gonna go if there's an Arthur route. I'm gonna try to avoid it. I, I I don't I don't know about that. Every time he pauses, it's deliberate. The moment is charged with emotions, and then he turns to her. There, she sees the pattern. She starts writing. Well, we made some progress. <gasps> what was that? I can't hear melodies in this din. There's several noises. I can't. A mighty booming. A blood-curdling squealing, a relentless creaking. I can only create melodies if I have silence. Perhaps I can silence the noises. Lock them out. I have to try. What is that horrible scraping? Elements of change. Oh, I thought it's a book title, I, I guess. A mighty blood of blood in the valley, the storm rages. It's howling wind and pounding rain. How can I concentrate? So I can block out this noise. Let's block the noise out by going outside. The storm booms overhead. The rain and the wind are so loud. I'm glad I don't have to be out here. She says, going out here. Thick forest. It's where I didn't get lost. The forest looking kind of thick, though. You can't tell where the phone lines go. Rain. Each drop of water falls so far from above, and when quietly the drop whooshes downwards, falling at last earth, thundering on leaves, grass stones from there to my ears. The sound blurs and fades away. Suddenly, it's quieter. The clouds still roil in the sky. It doesn't look like the storm will be over anytime soon. Key flowers. Why did they leave them out here on the porch? Strange. Why does Arthur have flowers here? Clouds still royal in the sky. Okay. Mountains. The mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even further. I think about myself. I've quieted it, I guess. Just gotta be at one with the noise. What is that horrible screeching? The lamp, the wind shaking the cabin makes it sway. The squeaky noise gets under his skin. It's back again, always audible. Even when it isn't, I can lock it out, I know I can. The noise slowly fades to silence. And it's gone. For a split second, a melody can be heard. It vanishes instantly. Damn it! Can't hear melodies in this din. There's one noise left. A relentless creaking. This is still distracting. Hot supporting beam! The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. Fibers in the wood bend and snap. The noise blurs. It fades away. My house gently farts in the distance. Finally, I can start writing. Oh, god damn it! Mr. Telephone! Not now, Leos. Sorry, Leos. Let's see. It, it wasn't the time for that. Composition's developing well. There's already several great passages. Still a lot to write. Imagine not having a phone. Imagine having a phone that you could not mute. How did we ever live with that? My phone is on Do Not Disturb 24-7. My phone only rings if you call, like, twice within a certain time or if you're already in my, you know, already in my phone book. Been a, it's been a while since I got a call that I actually heard. So much spam. I, I hate phone calls and all of my friends know that I hate phone calls. And most of them hate phone calls too, so it's quiet. It's still a lot to write. A state is to be preserved during a transformation. It can be recovered by applying another transformation. Transformations over the course of a piece of music. Can one prolong an emotion through variation? from a fast tempo to a slow tempo. It's wonderful. The harmonic framework of the song is still missing. I need a melody. Another change. Let's write a few variations. Poetry. My favorite poem is in here. The Panther by Rainier Maria Rilke. His gaze... 
against the sweeping of bars has grown so weary. I like the little music notes and the little theme that tells you, oh, you've unlocked some music. To him, there seem to be a thousand bars behind those thousand bars in the world. Dark, strong beasts trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano. Behind it, silence. Interesting. I like the, the, the blackness kind of emphasizes the smallness of the cabin, the isolation. It's so cold. We're having some real shit dreams down here. He puts the lotion on its skin. Or else it gets the moistness again. It's wet. I hate water. It's wet. It's soft. And it gets everywhere. Rain? A well? Why? Why can't I move? <laughs> the, I live for these kind of options. <laughs> Colonel, trying to escape this well, but I'm dummy thick. I can't move, I'm paralyzed. The water's rising fast and I can't move. Water drips down the stones, I can't get out that way. The rain, the water's rising, my feet. Mud grips them like dead hands. I've gotta get out of here. Hello? Someone down there? Hello, help! Someone down there! The water's rising. The rain is too loud, I can't hear you. Get me out of here! Can you climb up? No! My feet are stuck in the mud. Why did you get down there? This is not the time for this! I must have fallen in. Don't panic! It's a difficult problem. Get a rope, buddy! The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait here, Vilma! I'll try and get help. How do you know my name? I can't hear you. I'll try to find help. Uh, Arthur? Aw, oh, crap. That probably makes it an Arthur path. I want to avoid Arthur path, if possible. I don't know. Something I don't, something I don't like about that. Day three. Just a dream. This is all too much. Well, I could leave. This is... I have to finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the tip of my brain. Film a concentrate. Huh. What was that? Another noise. Tick. What was that? Oh, it's a clock. The noise comes from another direction. Alright, this is the lion song. Um, right? Yes. <laughs> Briefly forgot. Um, this is really neat. I kind of want to keep it a little bit quick. Um, but I think I'll keep playing this on my own here and uh, check more out. Uh, like I said, it is free on scene, the first episode. And you can buy the other episodes. It's, uh, let me see right now. Store page. Uh, it's eight bucks for the whole game. And, uh, the first chapter seems to be... Well, I, I don't know how long it is, I guess. But I assume it's the whole week here that we, you know, make our composition. This has been really cool. Um, I love these kind of relaxing games. Um, you know, these little slice of life things. Very dramatic. I... I didn't expect to be engrossed in the musical thing. I'm not, like I said, it's writing music thing probably isn't really mostly my thing. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. Uh, let me know what you're thinking of the game in the comments. Um, yeah, very interesting. So tap tap, signing out. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I I, I would just get out. <laughs>